Insightful Products is an R&D company specializing in human ambulation. Our StepSmart brace is the first drop foot brace that manages both swing and stance phase. Drop foot is a secondary diagnosis resulting from a multitude of pathologies such as disease, injuries, post-surgery, and idiopathic conditions. In short, it's a functional deficit of the anterior compartment musculature that is responsible for two biomechanical requirements, clearance during swing phase and shock absorption during stance phase. The term drop foot was coined because that was part of the gait that you could see with the naked eye. Until now, brace designs have ignored the stance phase part of gait because the human eye just can't see fast enough the forces at work at heel strike. Half the management of shock absorption has been lost by the limb because the dorsiflexors are responsible for deceleration of the foot at heel strike. The orthopedic goal in stance phase for the brace designer is to balance knee stability with shock absorption. In this image, you can see that there's going to be more gait efficiency for the person on the left whose ground reaction force has moved further forward in stance phase than the person on the right who, if you look near the heel, still has a ground reaction force back behind the knee. This brace design here is an example of one that puts the ground reaction force back behind the knee because they eliminate plantar flexion and heel strike. This diagram shows the same comparison. If you notice the image on the right, it depicts a situation that occurs with a brace that resists plantar flexion too much. The ground reaction force maintains a more posterior position to the knee, and this results in a shorter step length knee buckling, or poor energy efficiency during gait. Back in 1988, we could show this using a gait lab that a custom PLS AFO is often too stiff and doesn't allow enough easy plantar flexion heel strike, therefore making the knee unstable. By designing a brace with an articulation, we can allow easy plantar flexion and avoid knee buckling. A footplate design that ends in front of the metatarsal heads at the sulcus area operates like a second class lever and the brace is pulled off the heel at heel off. A trim line that's behind the metatarsal heads allows for a natural toe break easier walking. Even more can be done for the patient by paying attention to the curve at the heel. This little trick moves the ground reaction force further forward at heel strike. Here you can see the evolution of the StepSmart brace as we bring the posterior section further back and lower. The gastroxoleus junction turned out to be the optimal height. By moving the joints up out of the shoe and back behind the malleoli, we can make a more streamlined brace that has both functional and cosmetic advantages. There's no reason to restrict side to side motion for those with drop foot. The new posterior orientation of the joints required a new solution, and the Jacob joint was invented. Because of the streamlined nature of the StepSmart brace, it wasn't hard to design a foot section that could handle feet from size 6 to 12. When comparing the StepSmart brace to other off-the-shelf solutions, the soft ones are clearly not strong enough to manage dorsiflexion. Patients complain of sore heels when using this kind of solution that does not have shock absorption. 
Off-the-shelf PLS AFOs are not preloaded enough and offer no instantaneous resistance and heel strike. These carbon graphite designs are very expensive and are actually designed for those with weak plantar flexors. Locating the joints in the traditional medial lateral positions make it harder to leverage from the back where it's more effective. Functional electronic stimulation is a drop foot solution which manages only a small portion of those with drop foot. The Step Smart Brace is a more refined and effective solution. The Jaca joint is the only joint that allows the patient to dial in the right amount of shock absorption to meet their personal needs. This is done with interchangeable bumpers, of which several durometers come with each brace. No tools are needed. Special consideration was put into design features to help patients put on the StepSmart brace. The StepSmart Brace meets two of the major needs in healthcare systems, better outcomes for less cost.